Schools across the country, including those here in Iowa, have seen a year like no other. That's right, Abby. It has certainly been something as our administrators, dedicated staff, and teachers working literally around the clock for months, coming up with ways, thinking of ways to safely educate their students. Well, tonight, KWWL reporter Travis Breeze has the incredible story of one Eastern Iowa school superintendent who has been helping so many others, all while fighting for her own life. Some people inspire others with their ability to carry on through hardship. Cedar Rapids Schools Superintendent Noreen Bush is one of them. During the pandemic, she's also been battling cancer, yet she finds hope in every moment. I'll kind of show you the gig here. Noreen Bush wasn't feeling right one Friday in April. The source was cervical cancer for me. Her doctor's diagnosis came less than a month after Governor Reynolds ordered schools to close. Stepping away from work didn't even cross her mind. It's not an or, it's an and. And so it wasn't, do I prioritize this over this? Support from staff and students started pouring in, in the form of get well soon letters and emails. Sweet, sweet letters of support and kindness. Bush calls her district a hope spot. It's a term used to describe vibrant, rich areas in the ocean. And the same way those spots keep the ocean going, she says this support propels her. One teacher really set the tone. I got a whole star in my Music teacher Amy Hanish and a group of high schoolers performed a Hope Spot song for Bush. To re-deliver that message to her in a time when she was um, dealing with her own personal struggle. Who would have ever known when we wrote that, that that would be an ultimate, the, the performance that would mean the most would be right there in her driveway. To hear the kids, um, very touching moment. Bush was in remission in August, but in December, doctors told her cancer had returned. I wasn't shocked, I mean, because I knew it was a possibility, but um, yeah, I guess disappointed. She'll do four rounds of a new targeted treatment. And at the same time, I'm so glad we caught it and um, are now able to try something different. The people around her have no doubt that she will get through this too. And while hope spots don't show up on x-rays, she can feel them every day. I don't feel as though I'm on an island floating by myself. I'm surrounded by uh, people who love me, people who care for me. We're gonna get through this, so what are we gonna hope out of this? In Cedar Rapids, Travis Breeze, News 7, KWWL. Oh, besides the pandemic, the Cedar Rapids Community School District was, of course, greatly affected by the August derecho. Every school campus did sustain some type of damage. I mean, you know, uh, students at Cedar Rapids Kennedy High School still have not been able to have any in-person classes yet, but we're told that finally they are expected back in the Kennedy classrooms as early as next week.